Welcome back to our channel. Happy New Year, it's 2023. So, what's been happening? Well, if you've seen our previous vlog, you'll know that we lost Bob. Um, yeah, he would have been eight years old uh, this year. Um, he became poorly just after Christmas, uh, about New Year time. Uh, basically, he stopped eating and um, I just thought he'd got a, a bug uh, eating something that didn't agree with him and um, we just kept an eye on him uh, but it got to a point where we could notice he'd losing weight as well all within a couple of days so we took him to the vets and uh, they checked him over thought it might be a virus gave him an injection and uh, took some blood and uh, said um, if you have any more worries about him to take him back uh, we brought him back from the vets and he basically got out the car and he just threw up all over the drive. It was like a greeny, mucus vomit he'd, he'd brought up. Uh, I could tell he wasn't well. Um, he was just lethargic, uh, just wanted to stay on his, on his bed. Um, couldn't tempt him out to go for a walk in the garden or anything. The only thing he would come out the cage for um, was to get a drink. He wouldn't eat, he wouldn't walk around the house or anything, he just wanted to lie in his bed. We decided to take him back that day to the vets and um, it was all, also like a lot of slavering coming from him. Uh, they said they were going to do some more tests on him, keep him overnight, see how he got on and um, we'd ring up the next day. We rang up the next day and um, they said they'd like to do some x-rays. Uh, told us how much it was going to cost, uh, but we had insurance, so come on, let's get it done. Let's find out what's wrong with him. I think wondering if he'd eaten something that had got stuck in his gut or anything like that. Uh, they x-rayed his, uh, his stomach and they couldn't see anything, but they did notice uh, a dark area up near his lungs. So they did another x-ray and a scan. They asked if they could do a... Um, a CT uh, ultrasound scan, uh, which we agreed, and um, yeah, they found that he'd got fluid around his lungs, and um, they actually operated uh, well, sort of an operation. They drained 500 milliliters of fluid from around his lungs. Um, we thought perhaps he'd swallowed something in his lungs uh, that gave him like a bit of a pneumonia or like an infusion. Um, they said that uh, they gave him some more antibiotics and that the surgeon vet was going the next day and he would have a look at Bob uh, but they thought it might be a CT scan uh, to do on him uh, but that would cost even more money um, but like I say we're still insured the next day comes and we get a phone call from the vet saying that um, he's not, not very well. We've had to drain some more fluid from him, another 250 millilitres of fluid from around his lungs. Um, and that uh, the only way they could find anything would be if they did this CT scan. Uh, but bearing in mind that was nearly two grand just to do the CT scan. Um, he also had to warn us that if they did the CT scan and found anything like a mass or a tumour or anything like that, it would cost even more to do the surgery. And then Bob would have to survive that. Uh, and then there's a the medication on top for recovery, etc. So as Bob was in pain, and it was a very hard decision, and um, it's something me and Di talked about, um, we couldn't see him suffer. He wasn't well, he'd got this it could problem with his lung, he was having trouble breathing. Um, there was nothing, even if we did these extra tests, 
couldn't guarantee that it'd be any better. Um, so we decided to, um, big decision, to have him euthanized. And um, yeah, he was put down later on that day. Heartbreaking because we've had him for eight years. We've had him from a pup. He's been part of the family. Um, and yeah, the house is so empty now. It's been just what, nearly two weeks, a week and a half. Um, yeah, and the house is so empty without him. I still wake up every morning thinking to come down to let him out in the garden, but no. Dies upset. Uh, to say it's part of the family, it's, you know, I mean, we've had him from a pup. Kids were upset because obviously they've grown up with him. Um, yeah, we miss him, we do. So, we've got him cremated um, and we're getting some uh, like paw prints of him. We're going to have some, um, get, get the ashes back and then we're going to scatter him a bit in our garden at the back there. We're going to put a little memorial up for him because he loved his back garden. He loves sitting on the decking and uh, waiting for the birds to land so he could chase them, <laughs> the little monkey. Um, yeah, so we're going to get some plat. We've got um, a thing I've ordered, a picture frame, where I can put his collar in it. Um, the collar he's worn all of his life. We did buy him a new collar at Christmas, um, and that's where we noticed we, he'd actually lost weight because we put it on Christmas Day, and um, when we took him into the vets, we noticed it was actually too big for him. So he's actually lost a lot. Uh, yeah, so quick. Um, he was in pain, poor devil. Uh, he's breathing. And um, yeah, it's a shame. Um, it's not a nice thing to do. Uh, yeah. So, this was just a quick vid, a quick vlog, should I say. Wish everybody a happy new year. Uh, obviously, our year, I hope now, will go better from what it started. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching and thank you for our new subscribers um we have got some plans coming on uh some new adventures we want to do this year um some places we want to go to um yeah so thank you for watching and look out for our next vlogs we're a bit a bit slow uploading because of what's been happening over christmas and new year as you can understand uh, but we will be uploading a bit more regular so Thank you for watching and staying with us. So I'll say bye for now. Bye.